And in international news, British Prime Minister David Cameron welcomed the new Labour Party opposition leader, Jeremy Corbyn. That is if your definition of welcome includes hurling insults and trying to cause a national panic. Well, he's a complete asshole, isn't he? Um, sir, perhaps if we use less colourful language? I wasn't even being colourful yet. He's a complete and utter f- quit. Raising taxes? Is he retarded? Abolish the army? Bullocks! What a shite wipe! Sir, we're definitely going to have to use far less colourful language and abusive language and possibly legally actionable language. But why? When someone acts like a cunt and talks like a cunt and even walks like a cunt, then should we all not be free to call him a cunt then? Yes, just not on the telly, sir. That kind of language we reserve for when Parliament is in session and, of course, in private. Well, perhaps if he was less of a cunt, but he's not! But what about the voters, sir? Some of your voters are a little on the, how shall we say, conservative side. F*** the voters! And don't say the C word. I'm the Prime Minister and I can say whatever I want. Right then, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. I've been needing the beeping machine. What kind of harebrained f***ing dog mouth, bitch f***ed f***ing cunt f***ing ass licking s*** of a s*** day? I mean the no that f***ing 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 Wipe, f- 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 f